Uh, welcome back. We are going finishing our series um, on the object snaps. Um, if you're just watching this video and you haven't seen the one previous to this, make sure you go and watch that tutorial first. So let's talk about circle object snaps. I'm going to draw a couple of circles here on my screen. And if I select one of those circles, you'll notice I get these grips that pop up. There's one at each quadrant of the circle. And there's one in the center. Those are various points along the circle that I can use object snaps. Now, with the exclusion of tangent, which is, of course, anywhere along the edge of the circle, but um, a circle has these object snapping points, the quadrants in the center. And to access those, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start a line, start my line command. Uh, when AutoCAD's asking me to specify my first point, let's say I want to draw a circle from the center of this circle to the center of this circle. AutoCAD's asking me for my first point. Well, my first point is going to be the center of this circle. So, when it's asking me for my point, I'm going to come over here to my object snaps, and I'm going to click the one that says snap to center. I have my snap to center of object snap running right now. And as I get close to the edge of this circle, or to the center of the circle, I'm going to get this little icon that pops up that's showing me the center of the circle, okay? Um, when I see that, I know that when I pick, I'm going to get exactly the center point of this circle. So now I'm going to pick, and I've started my line in the center of this circle. Now AutoCAD is asking me for my next point. Well, I want the center of this circle. That's where I want this line to go. So again, I'm going to pick my object snap, snap to center. Come over here to this circle. Again, anywhere along the perimeter or in the center of the circle, as long as I see my center point, object snap icon pop up, I can pick and I know that I'm going to get exactly the center point of that circle. I'm going to end this command. Now I've drawn a line from the center point of this circle to the center point of this circle. And I know it's exact because I use my object snaps. Very, very, very important to be using your object snaps in everything that you do in AutoCAD. Okay? Very important. Makes, it'll make your life a whole lot easier in the long run. Um, okay, let's talk about quadrant object snaps. Let's say I want to draw a line um, and I want it to land right on this quadrant, right there at 90 degrees on this circle. Or, excuse me, zero degrees on this circle. I'm going to start my line command again. And I'm going to pick a point out here and I want it to snap right there at that quadrant. Very similar to the other object snaps when AutoCAD's asking me for a point. I'm going to come over here to my snap to quadrant, pick that, and come over here. And this one, um, this quadrant is going to show me the quadrant, snap to quadrant icon um, to the one that I'm closest to. So if I get close to the top of the circle, it's going to move up here. If I'm over here on the left, it's going to move to this quadrant. If I move down here to the bottom, it's going to move to this quadrant. And if I'm over here, it's going to move to this quadrant. So once I'm near the quadrant that I want, and I see my little quadrant icon there, I'm going to pick, and I know that I've drawn a line exactly to the quadrant of that circle. It touches the circle. It's not short of the circle. It touches the circle, and it doesn't go beyond the circle. It's exactly the quadrant. Okay? The other object snap that I have is tangent. Um, tangent, remember, is when you have a line that touches the circle at exactly one point on the circle. In other words, it's not on this side of the circle's edge, and it doesn't cross within the circle. It touches the object, or touches the circle, at exactly one point. That's a tangent. So, let me start a line, and let's say I want to draw a line from here, and I want it to be tangent to the bottom of this circle. Well, I've started my line. Now AutoCAD is asking me to specify my next point. Instead of being, you know, just somewhat accurate by just picking. Again, I want to use my object snap quadrant to be more specific and more accurate. Or, excuse me, object snap tangent. So I'm going to pick snap to tangent. Come over here and you'll see my little tangent icon pop up. When I see that, I know that I can pick and I know that I've drawn a line exactly tangent to that circle. No matter how far I zoom in, the line that I've drawn doesn't cross the line more than once. It crosses right at exactly one point and touches the circle but doesn't go within the circle. So that's perfectly tangent. Where would you use that? Well, here's an example right here. Let's say I want to draw a line tangent from here to here. Um, I start my line command. 
AutoCAD's asking me for my first point. Well, I'm going to pick tangent, and I'm going to pick this object. Okay. Notice as I move around, my line, the starting point, looks kind of like a yo-yo, right? It's always tangent there to that circle. Now it's asking me for my next point. I'm going to pick tangent again, and I'm going to pick this circle. And I'm going to end that command. Now I've drawn a line that touches that circle and touches that circle and, exa and, then, and is exactly tangent to both. Okay? Draw another one. Start my line command. Go from tangent, this circle, to my next point, which is going to be tangent to this circle. End my command. Now it looks like a pulley, right? Exactly tangent to both of these circles, uh, both of these lines. Okay, so that's uh, some object snaps for tangent, uh, excuse me, for circles. We've got our center point object snap, we've got our quadrant object snap, we've got our tangent object snap, um, and in the last tutorial, remember we went over endpoint, midpoint, intersection, and perpendicular. So some, those are some of the basics, and familiarize yourself with those basics and use them all the time, and then as you get more advanced, you can work with some of these more advanced um, object snaps like um, apparent intersection and parallel and things like that. Those are also very, very helpful helpful object snaps. Now, sometimes, let me erase these lines, we want to set our running object snap. In other words, let's say we're picking a lot of places that are the same, like endpoints of a line. You don't have to do what I do. You can just kind of watch for a second. I'm just going to draw some lines here. And let's say I want to draw a line, and I want it to kind of zigzag. I want it to go from this endpoint to this endpoint to this endpoint to this endpoint, and on and on. So that's a lot of endpoints. I don't want to have to pick my endpoint object snap every time. So what I can do is I can set my object snap to running object snap. So if I click on right here, object snap settings, it's going to bring up a dialog box. And these are my object snaps. I'm going to go to my object snap tab. And my object snap is off, is off right now. It's not checked. I'm going to uncheck center there, and I'm going to pick on endpoint. There's all my different object snaps. I'm going to pick on endpoint, and then I'm going to turn on object snaps. Hit OK. What this does is now, anytime AutoCAD is asking for a point, it's automatically going to assume that I'm looking for an endpoint, because that's what I've set in my object snaps. So now let's see what happens when I start a line. Start my line command specify first point, notice what happens when I get close to these lines. It's automatically looking for the endpoints because I set my object snaps to endpoint. So I come over here, I pick on the endpoint here, come over here, pick on the endpoint here, and here, and here, here, and here. And my command, and that's setting my object snaps to a running object snap setting so that they are always on. Now to turn that on and off, if you just come down here to your status bar, you'll see this O-snap button. Notice that it's on right now. I can click on it, and it turns it off. And if you look on my command line, it says O-snap off. If I click on it, it turns it back on, turn it back off. So if I'm in the command and I want to turn it off, but I don't want to have to come over here to my object snap settings and turn it off, on and off here, I can use this little on and off button down here at the bottom my status bar to turn my object snaps on and off. Again, go to your settings, your object snap settings, drafting settings, go to your object snap tab, and then you can set your object snap on or off right there. And you can set as many of these as you want. Okay? So let's say I pick endpoint and center point, and I have a circle over here, and I've got some lines, and I've got another circle here. I'm going to start my line command. Now remember, I've gone to um, endpoint and center point, and I've set them both on. So I'm going to start my line command. Endpoint, center point, endpoint, center point. It's always going to go to whatever I'm closest to. Okay, so you can set more than one object snap at a time, and that'll help you out as well. Remember to turn it on and off right here, or in your object snap settings tab. Very good. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Um, appreciate you watching and look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. Thanks so much.